Today, we're gonna fit three holes. We're not gonna fit three holes, we're gonna drill three holes. We're gonna be putting a water intake in, a 240 mains connector in, and a solar intake. But there's a bit of a twist. I've already done the solar intake. It's up there, because it needed to be done. We're gonna go back in time, when I've got a beard, and we're gonna fit the solar intake, so. I don't like these. There is much better designs out there, and we just kind of bought this one, but we'll put it up for now, just because we've got it. Um, you know, it's there, um, but one thing I don't like about it is that on the inside, if you can just see, it screws, the actual nuts go on the inside. So when you're traveling, these nuts will come loose. I recommend putting some silicon on the inside just to make sure that the two little nuts holding the actual cable holders inside don't come loose. Because once this is stuck down, you gotta take it up to tighten them up again, which will be a bit of a nightmare. So we're just gonna put some silicon on the inside of there just to basically keep them safe from coming loose. And then that should stop the nuts on the inside coming loose. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's going up on the roof anyway, but it will just stop these nuts from coming loose when you're driving. We're gonna silicon around the edge of this and then stick it down to the van. But first of all, we need to drill a hole. Right, so we want this piece to be going round about there. That's the section where we want it. We've cleaned the section off. We're just gonna put a hole through it we know underneath it is going to be fine, so we're just going to drill a hole and get sticking this on. Right, that's going to be enough for two solar cables to go in because they're only thin. So we're just going to clean up the edges of this, give all this metal a clean off, and then we can start silicon. So I'll give it a clean and I'll be back. Right, so I've cleaned it off. I've got over it with some hammer ice, so that should be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna give this a bead of sick and flex all the way down the inside, and then stick it down to the roof. So there we go, that's that up, nice and easy. Job done, leave that to go off now. And it's a little bit wonky, but now just leave it there, it's fine. Use plenty of sick and flex around the sides, not getting any water in there. So, jobs are good, now move on to the next job. just happened just kind of went to trim it all up and then just went a bit mad to be honest kind of looked like gnome pubes right so we're going to be fitting the water intake because i've been told where to put it because the guys who are making our tanks who are barra tanks in the uk they told me to fit the water intake behind the driver's door now what we're going to do is Basically, we're gonna make a square piece of ply that will fit over the hole that we're gonna drill from the inside. We're gonna screw it in the middle where our center's gonna be. Either side, we're gonna drill through, tap into the actual wood, so it gives us something to grip into when we're actually drilling it, because this stuff's only thin metal. You know, it's even like three or four mil metal. It's only thin. Three mil, two mil, I don't know, it's thin. With the wood on the back, it's just gonna give it a little bit of extra, you know, real estate to grab onto. Then, when we come to fitting this, we've already got a piece of ply on the back that we can screw this to, and rather than just relying on the actual fixing holes going into the van, we can screw directly into the wood as well, and have that on the back as a bit of a base. This crappy foam thing that's on here, that's coming off because they just go manky and just end up just looking like crap. So that's coming off and we're going to Sikaflex. Not Stickerflex, it's called Sikaflex. And now it's starting to rain again. Wonderful, great, thank you. Thank you, just thank you. Right, so like I said, this piece of wood is gonna go on the back end of this. It's gonna, for sake, you 
with your noisy f***ing tractor. Anyway, it's got a sandwich on the back and close it all in. Gives this something to grip to. So let's drill a hole, put this on the back, screw it in, drill a bigger hole, and get this sucker in. This soundboard does need to come off because we're going to be drilling right the way through it and we don't need it there. So the good thing about these sound panels is you can actually, with a little bit of brute force, take them off. So we're going to be drilling round about here, drill a pilot hole first, then from the other side we're going to put the block on here. I wish you'd piss off with that good tractor, cutting the goddamn grass, making noise, and I'm trying to film. So we're going to drill a pilot hole here, right the way through, so we know where the location is. Put the block of wood on the back, drill two little screws into the block of wood just to hold it on there. I might need a helper, and then drill the big hole for the water pipe and put up with him and his noisy tractor. And look at that, just by magic, when all the brain work's done, she turns up. You know what I mean? I've sat here. I told you we're... what to do before you came out. No, what are you on about? Right, so now what we're gonna do is, now we've got the small... <laughs> 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 now we've got the small hole in. Emma's gonna hold this on the back. And I'm just going to screw in either side of the actual hole. Then we can get the big hole cutter, cut it from the outside on the inside, and this will give us something more to, you know, make it just makes the van stronger while you're drilling. So she's going to hold it, I'm going to screw it. Alright, so now we've got our wood on the back, we've got the two holes to brace it. We're going to cut through with this into the wood, through the metal. Easy. Right, so now we've drilled it and we've got the hole and this. This will then go through there. That'll go on the back. And as you can see, the screws will go through the skin and into the wood. But first, we're going to hammerize it. Right, so just before we stick it on, we're going to just put it up, make sure it's all lined up straight and then drill ourselves a couple of pilot holes for where the screws are going to go. Right so now we've taken the gasket off the back we're just going to go around with some nice clear silicon around the edges that's the water and left done. Right, nice and secure, nice and sealed, fully sealed up back and front. Now all you've got to do is put the 240 inlet in the back. Right, well you might have noticed a bit of a costume change, you might not. Whatever. The weather in the UK is awful. You can start to do one job and it just starts lashing down with rain. Right, next we've got to fit this. But before I get into fitting this, which will be going right there, you have probably noticed There are some graphics on the van. Now they were done by a friend of mine called Kelly. I'm gonna link Kelly's Instagram account in the description below. And here's a little montage of what happened. Right, now, these are great, but look at the stupid shape. It's just a stupid shape. Now, a lot of people cut them out with a big hole saw. The problem I have with that is that at the top, you don't really get a lot of real estate, nor do you at the bottom. You're talking, you know, five mil. I made one of these. Right, that is gonna be the shape. And basically this will go on the inside of the van, so the van will then sit in the middle and then we can screw 
through the van into the plywood. But I'm not going to cut out a hole, a circular hole. I'm going to cut that shape out the side of the van. It's a pain in the ass, yeah. You've got to mask the van up to get the jigsaw around, yeah. But it just means that you're about to get a lot more mastic around the edges rather than cutting a big hole and being a couple of millimetre away from the actual top of the lid. In my eyes, it's just better. So, let's drill holes, let's cut bands, let's get things stuck on. Where's Emma? First what we're going to do is we're going to cut some holes in the side of the van so the jigsaw can go around it. Then we're going to mask around it. Doesn't that look pretty? This masking tape is a load of rubbish. But the van is protected. Now we can cut this bit out with the jigsaw. I do recommend you wear some sort of goggles as well. It's safety that matters. I might look like a bumblebee, and no, I'm not going skiing. Give it a file. Then give it a ping with some hammer. Right, so once your hammer has gone off, once your hammer has gone off, what I like to do is put the actual thing in there, make sure it's all level and straight. Once you're happy with it being level and straight, then just mark the points with a sharpie where the actual screws are going to go. Once you've given them a pilot hole, you can then drill straight through and go straight into your wood. Right, so what I've done on the inside is I've just put some mastic so when we put this up against the wall and we drill through the mastic on the inside the mastic on the inside is just going to give it a better seal from the inside and there's going to be a mastic around the actual fixing as well that's coming into the van so it will be fully watertight fully sealed and you don't have to worry about moisture finally someone's arrived guess who hiya got a job for you get in the van Right, now my little helper's arrived, we can put some Sikaflex on this. I've already put the cable in to the unit, but I'm not going to show you how to wire it up because I'm not an electrician. Right, so what's going to happen is, I'm going to pass this through the hole to Emma. Emma's then going to feed the block of wood over this cable, then over there, and I'm going to screw it. Right, so we're going to pass this cable through so Emma can get it from the inside. Then we're going to push the unit on. And then while Emma's holding the actual wood, we can then take our screws and we can screw it. And that's one unit fitted. Job done. So we've put the water in, we've put the solar power cables in, and we've just done the lecky for the hookup on the back. Dead easy. Just double check what you're doing. Make sure you do it all clean. Make sure you do it all properly. Make sure your holes are the right size. Once you've cut them out, just go over them with a file, then paint them with hammer eyes, Sikaflex, screw it. Job done. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe. I was going to say that. <laughs>